Okay, so um, <clears throat> next, what I want you to do is uh, let's go to the view view tab. We will do the freezing tabs um, option right now. So freeze, and let's see what happens. Yeah, perfectly as it was supposed to be. Let's maybe make this a bit wider. Okay, great. So now what we use as the freezing uh, freezing pain option, uh, sorry, freezing pain here yeah, option, uh, which allows you to uh, view the top row. So our work will be much easier. Okay, let's go back to the home tab. And since we used all of the formulas, we will now uh, quickly create a different chart uh, based on the data we have here. So let's zoom out again. And moving on to the insert tab, there we have the um, chart options. So this time we won't be using the uh, column chart, we will be using the Let's see what we can, yeah, we have to mark the area first. So we will use the whole amount of data. So let's see what Excel proposes. Uh, let's see, we can use so many types of charts, but if we go back here and see the pie chart, yes, this would be way too big. It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, we can use also the 3D ones, but uh, this also wouldn't be really uh, working for us right now. So um, let's go back to the line chart and use this one. Okay. Uh, we picked the line, uh, line chart. Let's move it here. And let's use some of the designs that are proposed by Excel. So I will choose this one. Hopefully it looks good. Let's make it bigger. Okay, great. Zoom in. No, it doesn't really look that good. Okay, so um, basically what we see here is the quarter one. Mm, but what Excel did is actually it used the um, the data as the uh, as the data uh, as the data validation. So maybe let's uh, change that. Switch rows to columns and click OK. Let's see how this looks. And now you can see that we have uh, two obvious choices. Uh, when we switch from rows to columns. What happened here is uh, we actually have only two quarters and you can see how these quarters are on the um, on this area. But what we also have to do is change the area we actually are using overall because uh, it's my mistake. We need to use quarter one to quarter four without the average and the sum. Because what this did is well screwed up a lot of our uh, data viewing. Okay, great. So now you can see that we have Q1, Q3, Q and Q4. Um, this type of a view is sometimes useful, but not in this case because, as you can see, we have uh, way too many, way too many options to work with. So let's change it for this view. This will be much more proper for us. Um, so we have Q1, which is the blue line, which as you can see is pretty stable. So we could say that in the first quarter, uh, we had a pretty good sale on, on, on most of the products. So we have the names of the products here. And uh, what I can tell you is that um, from this chart that we had a very stable sale, especially in Q3, uh, uh, sorry, in Q1, especially in the last uh, group of products. Then you have, you have the Q2, which is a bit less stable, but still pretty good. 
and much less stable Q, uh, Q3 and Q4. So probably in Q4 this is a uh, season product which in this area simply uh, jumped high, high up because of the um, because of the work we have here. Okay, so let's maybe change the style again to see it in a normal way. Okay, um, let's do a few minor changes to it. Maybe this way so we can see. Let's use the axis tiles. Maybe not the data labels because you can see how many are there. Um, data table would be also bad. Mm. Okay, the down up bars, um, they create, uh, they mark the area between the quarters. Um, but this is a bit more advanced and we didn't really discuss this over here. Okay, so again, uh, income over here. Uh, create income in there too. Yeah, always remember about the undo option. It's really useful when you make an error. As you can see, I also make mistakes, so don't worry if, if in any time you feel like you're having trouble with Excel, you can al always just uh, use the Control Z or uh, in your undo um, in in this area undo the undo the option. So Q. Again, great. I'm concentrating widely on the charts because this is probably one of the options that you will be mostly using. Um, and since this is a basic Excel option, so even though I spoke about many, many other options, I want you to remember that uh, what I'm doing right now is the most basic and probably this, these are the things you will be doing most often. Okay, so let's maybe change the angle of the text over here because this way we will uh, save a lot of space and if we change the angle, well, it looks a bit better, doesn't it? Okay, but you can see that the data over here, you can see the chart actually beginning at minus 2000. Well, we don't really want that, so let's change the... Um, Let's, change, let's do the format axis and let's change the minimum and the maximum of the table. So we will change the minimum from 2000 to let's say zero. Even though we will lose this part of data, I'm not particularly interested in it, but maybe let's say minus 1000 would be perfect. Let's see how it works. Yes, this is much better. Um, and now what we can do is shrink this part. Okay. We won't be able to move this part, but it doesn't really matter. Um, great. Let's make this a bit bigger. Um, what else I can do is right click here. Um, again, it didn't mark format axis. And we don't want the 8,000, we want the 7,000 because you see there's no area here. So let's use the 7,000. Uh, the major grid line is set at 1,000. Let's set it to 500. You can always reset the uh, settings you set up. Okay. Uh, this looks pretty good. Let's maybe change the color a bit. Let's use the green one. Even though this is the same, I'm just using a random name really for for, for the data over here. Uh, what matters really is how you do it and just to remember how to work with the data. Okay, that's wonderful. So you have the um, the four quarters here, and this data is would be pretty useful for you. Um, okay, great. So uh, let's title this chart as chart one great and we will title over here as chart two great let's move back to data control c control v 
And as previously, I don't want you to use the print options because this would take you way too much time. So just save it and you have the second chart in the second tab and the first chart in the first tab. Uh, you can see the enormous difference between these two. Um, this is a simple column chart and this is a line chart. Um, okay, so maybe let's also uh, do one more thing with the chart. Let's go to the design. Uh, first off, let's maybe change the frame to a orange one or uh, the, to be honest, you don't have to use the same colors in, in, in your uh, chart. What's mostly important is that you have all the options that I used in here uh, as they are and use them properly. So your, mm, so your final effect would look more or less the same. Um, as I'm saying, it, it doesn't have to be identical. It just needs to be more or less the same. Okay, so we have the quarters here. We can move them up, up so it would be much nicer this way. Let's make this bigger. Um, to switch the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 legend to look like one under another, you simply need to grab it and change the size of the window and Excel will do it automatically for you. So I will use it over here. And this time, let's use a gradient fill. Okay, great. So basically, you have your main file. Let's delete the chart from this, this part. Great, it's out. Let's maybe move this out. So, this is your uh, first tab, second tab, and third tab. This is how your data is supposed to look like. These are the options I need you to use. Let's maybe uh, change the outlet over here a bit and use the underline. Okay, great. And this is what I want your file to look like when you finish. Uh, please note all the changes I made and uh, your certificate will be uh, sent to you depending on how well you finish this file. Also, don't forget to send out the uh, printout, the XPS file. Okay, great. Um, that will be all from my side. And this is the uh, final video of the uh, basic Excel. So um, I hope you're feeling uh, much more confident than you were before regarding a basic Excel. But always remember, uh, you can go back to Excel help any given time. Uh, you just need to uh, ask Excel for, for any answers you need. Uh, as I told you many, many times before. So thank you very much. Save your file, send it to us. And this was the final video from the American Institute of Techniques and Management. My name is Lucas and I am glad I could be your tutor here. Thank you and bye.